A federal appeals court has sided with the city of Dunedin in its three-year legal battle with a homeowner who racked up nearly $30,000 in fines over uncut grass. That homeowner, Jim Ficken, called that excessive and claims he was denied due process. Both the original judge and now the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals disagreed. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser takes a look at what's next. It looks like what it does right here. In the court of public opinion, Jim Ficken has been treated unfairly. But in a court of law, he just lost his legal battle with the city of Dunedin again. Ficken's case dates back to 2018, when Dunedin threatened to foreclose on his home. The 72-year-old had racked up $30,000 in code violations for an overgrown lawn. It was a shock. I just couldn't believe it. His attorneys argued the amount was not only crazy high, but that Ficken was not given adequate notice. First he was out of town, then the man who mowed his lawn died unexpectedly. Two months later, $500 a day. And it's $28,500 before you can really even find out that they're fining you. We think the court got it wrong. Andrew Ward is an attorney with the Institute for Justice, which has been handling Ficken's case. He says they're disappointed with the appellate court conclusion that fines were not unconstitutionally excessive and are planning their next legal move. If necessary, we, we may take this all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Our code enforcement is for compliance. When we sat down with Dunedin's mayor in the past, she said the fines were not about punishment or making money. The city released a statement calling the 11th Circuit's ruling thorough and detailed, adding, we appreciate the time the court took to carefully review the record and legal arguments to reach its conclusions. The city of Dunedin, while defending its policies, did say it could do better. In 2020, they passed a new ordinance, capping code violation fines at $10,000. Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Now, Ficken's attorneys have until August 4th to decide their next legal move. They say they're glad the city of Dunedin has since reduced the maximum fines for code violations. In their opinion, it's also an acknowledgement the city has been going about this the wrong way.